Greetings dear students. I am Vinita Gar, HOD Computer Science from SRDAV Public School, Dhyanan Bihar, Delhi. Another academic year is coming to a close and examinations are around the corner. It is very important to know your examination pattern in and out. If you see last year's board exam papers, you will find that CBSE revolves around a fixed examination pattern. A first hand knowledge of the type of questions which may be asked will help you to not only stay calm during the exam but also to answer your questions with concentration. Here are some most basic not sure shot tips to help you crack CBSE board exam for informatics practices. There are seven questions in the Informatic Practices Board Exam Paper. Question number one is based on the topic Computer Networking. It has five parts from A to E and is of 10 marks. Question number two is based on the topics Java and HTML. It has seven parts from A to G and is of 10 marks. Question number three is based on the topics Open Source Concepts and MySQL. It has seven parts from A to G and is of 10 marks. Question number four is based on Java. It has seven parts from A to G and is of 15 marks. Question number five and six are based on MySQL. Both of them have three parts from A to C and are of 10 marks each. Question number seven is based on the topic IT applications. It has three parts from A to C and is of five marks. Now let's discuss in detail what all is there in question one. All the five parts from A to E in question number one are of two marks each. Question number one part A is based on identifying communication media and transmission or transmission media. Please learn different types of wired and wireless medias. The second part of this question is based on identifying the type of networks that is PAN, LAN, NAN or WAN. One mark is given for each correct answer. Question number one, part B is based on topologies like bus, star or tree. It is of two marks and two marks are given for correct answer. Please note that full two marks will be allotted if represented with the help of diagram. Question number one, part C is based on different network devices that is NIC card, switch, hub, repeater or gateway. It is again of two marks and suitable marks are awarded according to the answer written. Question number one, part D is based on identification of computers and users over a network that is a MAC address, IP address, domain name and its resolution. Full two marks will be given if reason is represented with the help of answer. Question number one, part E is based on network security and protection. It is of two marks. For this topic, please revise all type of network security attacks and how to protect our network. Question number two is based on Java and HTML. Out of seven parts, the four parts of this question are of one mark each and rest three parts are of two marks each. Usually, five parts are based on Java and two parts are based on HTML. Now let's discuss what all you need to revise in the topic Java. Please revise all the controls, their properties and methods. The question type can be difference between controls, question based on naming property or naming a method of a particular control. You can also be asked for extracting or setting data out of or to a control. You must know the variables and their naming conventions. The question type can be Java code to declare a variable and assign value and increase or decrease value. You can also be asked to give simple output questions. Then conversion methods need to be known string to number and number to string. You will be asked to name the functions to convert string to number and vice versa. 
you must know all the different type of operators that is assignment, arithmetic, relational, logical and unary. You can be asked to write code in Java to perform the given operations or you can be asked to solve output questions or error questions. Please revise all the methods like set visible, set editable and set enabled. You can be asked to differentiate between the methods or give the command to enable or disable any control. All the selection statements like if else and switch case need to be revised. You can be asked output question or error question or difference between if else and switch case or rewriting if else to switch case and vice versa and importance of break in switch case in this topic. Next, you need to revise iterative or looping statements that is for, while and do while. You can be asked again the output question, error question, difference between various types of loops, rewriting one loop to another and how many types the loop will execute in a particular code. From the topic object oriented programming, you can be asked the different types of programming paradigms that is procedural and object oriented programming paradigms, features of OOPs like data hiding, data encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism. You can be asked to define any of this feature with example, components of OOPs that is class and object, abstract and concrete class and native classes like math, or string class. Please learn the definition of all the terms with examples and in the case of math and string class, output questions based on functions can come. From the topic HTML, you need to learn the different types of HTML elements. The question type can be difference between container and empty element. Please revise all the tags and attributes of all the HTML elements. You can be asked to name HTML elements, tags, attributes to perform the desired operation. You must also know XML and its feature. And out In question number three, which is based on MySQL and open source, there are seven parts out of which four parts are of one mark each and rest three parts are of two marks each. Mostly six parts are based on MySQL and one part is based on open source. In MySQL, please revise the entire terminology like database, relational database, RDBMS, benefits of DBMS, MySQL, relation or table, primary key, candidate key, alternate key, degree, cardinality, DDL, DML, DCL, and different data types which are there in class 11. Please, you can be asked to define any of this topic with example or difference between them or identify the keys in a given table. Please revise all the commands like create database, use database, show tables, select database, create table, insert into, select command, clauses in select like distinct, where, between, in, like, is null, is not null, and order by, commands like update, delete from, alter table, and single row functions. You can be asked to correct the given incorrect SQL command, or write the SQL command based on the given situation or table, difference between any two commands, or the output of a given SQL command. From the topic more on databases and SQL, please revise all the aggregate functions, group by and having clause, Cartesian product, equijoin, foreign key, union, and the constraints, primary key and net not null, how to add, modify, draw, and view constraints. The question type are given here. You can see the different type of questions which can be asked in the exam. From the advanced RDBMS concepts, you must learn how to start transaction, commit, save point, auto commit and rollback. Usually an output question of two marks comes from this topic. From the topic open source concepts, please learn all the definitions like free software, open source software, free open source software, 
and free liberal open source software. Common open standards like open document format and org verbis, different type of fonts and different type of text entries like keyboard and phonetic text entry. Please learn all the definitions and terms with example. Question number four is entirely based on Java and it has seven parts. Out of seven parts, part A to C are of one mark each, D to F are of two marks each, and G is based on GUI Java form. Java code is to be written for calculate button, clear button, and exit button. Question number five is entirely based on MySQL. It has three parts from A to C. Part A has two subparts, one and two, which are based on the structure of the table given. It is of two marks. Part B has four subparts, one to four, which are based on SQL functions and they are of half mark each. Part C, you have to write SQL commands for question number one to four and output for five and six based on the given table. It is of six marks. Question number six, part A is based on creating a table based on given fields, data types and constraints. It is of two marks. Please note that half mark is for writing create table, half mark for column names with data types, half mark for primary key constraint, and half mark for not null constraint. Question number six, part B is based on two given tables. You have to identify the primary key or foreign key and one conceptual question comes on this topic and you have to answer it suitably. Question number six, part C is based on two tables. You have to write SQL commands based on two tables. It is of two marks and has two parts, one and two. Usually partial marking is done in this question. One mark is for writing correct use of select and from and half mark for each condition using where clause. In question number six, part three, you are supposed to give the output of SQL command based on two given tables. It is of two mark and one mark is given for each line of correct output. Question number seven and B, they are based on the topics e-governance, e-business and e-learning and they are of marks three. In question number seven, you have to choose the most appropriate control for the given entries and it is of two marks. There are four parts and each part is of half mark each. Now it's time to give some important tips at the examination hall. Don't waste the 15 minutes reading time. Please read the question paper thoroughly during this time. Always start with the questions which you are more confident writing at and try to answer all parts of a question together. Write up to the mark. Don't leave any question. Most of the questions have partial marking. After completing the paper, please check your answer sheet thoroughly. Give your best without worrying about your results. So dear students, practice hard, stay cool and optimistic and follow these tips to deliver your best. Good luck everyone.